Hi there everyone, thank you for joining me. So in this quick little video, I'm just going to show you how I went over some of my images with my Deco Art paint pen. It's a broadline white pen and I just went over some of the uh, characters in my rock to smooth them over so that I can then add color to them using some of my paint pens, which I'm going to show you very quickly how I've picked out some colors here that I'm going to use. Um, these are paint pens by Arteza. Okay, this is one. And they come with different tips, um, or the same tip, but it looks like a paintbrush. And I'm just going to color in the grass. See how the paint just goes on with a pen. And I want to get a nice green color in here. And very quickly I'm just going to show you how you can blot it with a cotton ball. Get a nice look to your rock. I have a different green because grass is different colors, so I want to use different colors throughout the rock to make it look real. And it's basically all I'm doing here is filling in the background. So I'm going to just put a little pink on some of these flowers down here. I like to get a little bit of a subtle color. I don't want a heavy color on there. I might go over it again. But as you can see, it's very easy to use these. You can paint anywhere with these pens. This is a gray one for the squirrel. Because even though I think the squirrel was brown in the original picture, I, I never really saw a brown squirrel. So I'm going to color him in gray. And I've already gone over some of some of the squirrel with my uh, Sharpie marker. And that's basically it. Um, I'm going to do a couple of blue bills. A blue pen. And I'm going to link, uh, I'm going to put a link to these pens in the description box if you'd like to get some. They're not cheap, they're sort of expensive, but you don't need as many colors as I have probably if you're just starting out using something like this. Um, I have the set of 100 or 96 I think they are and I got them as a Christmas gift last Christmas. Um, I think they were probably close to a hundred dollars but when you think about it that's just like a dollar a pen pretty much so um, that's not too expensive Coloring in some of the violets at the top. And move this forward. And go on so e it goes on so easily, and it adds such a nice um, color base to the rock and it's so not messy like regular paints so that's another reason why I love it sometimes I find that I have so many colors to pick from I don't know what which ones to use so 
that's the only problem in having 96 colors. And I don't only use these, I use, sometimes I use my Sharpie markers if I want like a brighter color, but these are very subtle, like I said. Oh, it's hard to paint upside down, but I'm just going to show you really quick. It's a nice pink. That's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to show you really quick how to use the, the um, markers or the paint pens by Arteza. So if you have any questions about my video or any video in my series, just please leave them in the comment section below because I'll check that every day and I'll try to get back to them, the questions, as soon as possible. But. Um, there you have it. That's going to be the last video in this series, and then I'm going to list this rock to sell it on eBay. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video and got anything out of it and you like my channel, please consider liking the video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.